Okay, I'm going to be converting a Craftsman 19.2 volt battery uh, nickel cadmium to lithium ion. So this is the inside. This comes apart with four screws. We have 16 nickel cadmium cells, uh, sub C's. Uh, so that's 1.2 volts a piece, 19.2 volts total. Uh, it's got four pins on the top. Two of them are for positive and negative. The other two have to do with these sensors. One is a let's see here, thermal fuse. And the other is a thermistor. This is terrible. Let's see. Oh, there. And those aren't are just for charging basically. So they don't have anything to do with uh, when you actually plug it in. So like this light here obviously only has positive and negative. As with all the tools basically only have positive and negative. So that's only for charging. All right. So that's the current nickel cadmium. Uh, the lithium ions that usually you can just buy look like this. Um, what they have inside them, they usually have five lithium ion cells sitting sideways in there with a battery management circuit cards on top. Uh, so the lithium ion cells, these are nominally 3.7 volts a piece. So that's, there's five, uh, these are 18650s, so that's 18.5 volts which isn't 19.2, but these actually charge to 4.2. So that's near 21. They go as low as 2.5 to 3 volts. So that's down to 15. So it's really odd that these voltages on any of these batteries say what they say, because they're definitely not always the same, they're not always that voltage. OK, so what I'm going to do is, let's see right there. Okay, so we got the base. Now, one thing that you can notice is that this base is considerably wider. Not considerably wider, but it's wider because these cells are sitting in there sideways. These older uh, nickel cadmium ones, and these are not going to sit in there sideways. You basically have no room, or you'd have to really get everything close, especially with these uh, clips in here. So what I plan on doing is obviously putting them in lengthwise. Uh, as you can see, they're hitting these posts here. So I'm going to probably have to trim <coughs> each of these posts on each of the sides just to get it to line up in there straight. And then. Uh, Put them together like that inside they're obviously straight inside but this should give and you have a little bit of room in the top of this uh, to fit a circuit card and you also have a little bit of room here even though this is set down in this ridge so hopefully it'll all fit together uh, the other thing i'm going to do is i'm not going to spot weld these together i'm going to figure out a way to put them in there with not necessarily clamping force, but maybe a spring force, not you know putting springs directly on the ends, but some way of forcing them together uh, without having to spot weld them so I can take it apart and replace the cell without wasting uh, these little stupid metal clip things on all these uh, spot welded cells on every other thing. Um, and this is basically part one of the video. Part I've already ordered parts, so when they get here, uh, the next video I'll be assembling. And that is it. See you in the next video.